Hey y'all, Chris Bassett here, and I bought the Wayne's View security camera. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on the setup and uh, some troubleshooting tips. Let's get into it. So I purchased the, uh, the Q5 model of the security camera, but this tutorial will also work for the Q6 and the K5. This is just a quick diagram of where all the, uh, the parts are located on the camera. So uh, here's my camera. I ordered the black model. Uh, there's the lens in the front, and then you can also see the, uh, the power adapter right here. Obviously that plugs into your outlet. And then the other side of the power adapter uh, is this USB, and that plugs into the uh, power port on the actual camera. Make sure you have the plug going the right way because it only fits in there a certain way. Uh, this is the mounting bracket if you're gonna mount the camera to a wall or a ceiling. And then this is the mounting hardware. Uh, drywall should be fine if you're trying to screw it into a wall. So real quick, here's the uh, mounting bracket. And keep in mind that the camera needs to be plugged in. So wherever you mount it, it should be close to an outlet. Uh, here's a little bit of the uh, mounting hardware, those plastic screw push-in types just push into the drywall. And then you have a brass fitting on the bottom of the camera where the, uh, the hardware actually screws in together. Uh, here's the entire assembly finished and ready to go. Here's just a chart of all the indicator lights on the camera. Uh, the lights can be found on the back of the camera. So a few things to note uh, before you set the camera up. The camera will have to be plugged into an outlet to maintain power. It doesn't have a battery backup. So you'll wanna position it next to an outlet. Also before uh, connecting to Wi-Fi, make sure your router is on and working, otherwise you're gonna run into problems. My internet provider is Mediacom and they're out half the time. So for the easy setup, you wanna download the app to your phone. Uh, you can go to like either Google Store or App Store, or you can use this QR code and it'll download the app and then it'll start to prompt you uh, on what to do. When you begin uh, signing up for your account, it'll ask for an email and a password. Uh, once you create a password, uh, on an iPhone, you can also save the login to your thumbprint. So that's helpful. And then I was having trouble uh, receiving an email to uh, activate the account. It'll also let you use your phone number. So I just put in my phone number and then it sent me a text message that I could use to activate the account. Once your account's ready to go, you'll need to do a power on your camera. It'll turn on and it'll turn uh, blue or it'll turn red and then start flashing between red and blue. It'll move around and like adjust itself. It'll prompt you to add a device. Uh, keep in mind that you need to connect your phone to the, uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, 5G is not supported and then open the app. Uh, once that's done, then you'll tap add device and you'll choose your camera. So keep in mind, you'll need to see the back of the camera's flashing red and blue lights. Uh, if it's not flashing red and blue, then you'll need to reset the camera. There's a reset button on the back. However, if you're good to this point, uh, make sure you're hooked up to the right Wi-Fi and then you have the correct password for your Wi-Fi. If all those steps were successful, then you'll see a QR code pop up on your phone that you can place in front of the camera and then it will say it was successful. If everything was successful, you can now use the app to control the uh, position of your camera. You can talk through it, you can listen through sound, and um, you can record with it. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, and if this was helpful, hit the like button. Thanks.